The next great advancement in quantum computing could be coming quicker than we thought after a new breakthrough involving teleportation. Optimax wants to help make the space economy more accessible. How a new partnership could make that happen. And could Santa be ditching the old naughty or nice list for something a little more modern? The photonics tools needed to help AI sort the behavior of our planet's 2.2 billion kids. All this and more on Photonic Spectra Now. Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by Skia Systems. From nano to infinity. Visit skia-systems.com for more. And by Trioptics. See the difference. Visit trioptics.com to learn more. Hi, and welcome to Photonic Spectra Now, covering your top headlines in the world of photonics. I'm Joe Kaczynski, a senior editor with Photonic Spectra. Teleportation is here. Well, not quite like what you see in the sci-fi movies or the comics, but researchers have successfully achieved the quantum teleportation of information. Scientists at Northwestern University have figured out how to teleport data almost instantly across virtually any distance. The beauty of this work is that it was all done over fiber optic cables already carrying internet traffic, with researchers finding a way to keep photons safe from other particles. The demonstration could open the door for secure quantum applications without the need for any specialized infrastructure, providing a potential fast track to a quantum internet. Leading business headlines, Focus Energy is partnering with Amplitude. The laser fusion developer will pair with the ultra-fast laser maker on systems for inertial confinement fusion. At the heart of this pairing is an objective to determine the laser parameters needed to commercialize Focused Energy's direct drive laser fusion. Amplitude's laser will find a new home in Focused Energy's San Francisco facility to carry out a series of tests to get there. Optimax's Star Space Systems and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory are entering into a new partnership. The collaboration centers around Livermore's patented monolithic telescope technology, which accelerates rapid deployment of modular optical designs for high-resolution or high-sensitivity space imagery. This tech came about as a way to boost national defense using these systems for space domain awareness. Staris can now transfer this achievement from the government labs to the commercial sector. Kevin Kearney, director and CTO of Stars Optimax Systems, says they're already seeing interest from other big companies as Stars provides a gateway to the space economy. But to truly understand the potential of this new frontier is still a bit of a mystery. I'm not sure anyone knows. This is like the beginning of the internet, right? You can look at the internet that DARPA built, but can you imagine Amazon, right? Which is a business model innovation on the internet. Uh, there are many people creating business models for space. All of them require photonics, electro-optic payloads. There will be tremendous applications for photonics-based devices, both imaging and non-imaging in space. And we really have to watch the innovation of the business models to see where this is going. Soytech and MIT are announcing an extension on their team up for research collaborations. The semiconductor materials designer and manufacturer will continue to work with the school's microsystems technology laboratories. This agreement covers research in innovative semiconductor materials, covering applications from mobile communications, power devices, sensors, and quantum computing. As part of the deal, Soytech has also been added as a member of the lab's industrial advisory board. Jerusalem-based laser developer Sivan is opening two advanced demonstration labs in the U.S. One lab in Idaho at the home of welding manufacturer Amit, and the other at Photon Automation in Detroit, Michigan. Officials with Sivan say these sites will offer hands-on demonstrations for a look at their dynamic beam lasers for welding. We're less than a week away from the new year, and Photonic Spectra is ready to start 2025 with a bang, with the release of our highly anticipated January issue previewing the biggest trends in the industry. Whether it's taking optical sensors to new heights with drones, the evolution of micro-optics, or space-based quantum communication, Photonic Spectra has it all. Featuring work from industry leaders with Corning, MKS, and Intel, just to name a few, Photonic Spectra offers a unique perspective you'll only get here. To ring in your new year with the 2025 Trends Edition of Photonic Spectra, go to photonics.com and click on subscribe. And MIT is making a leap forward in AI with a new photonic chip that promises faster and more energy efficient AI computations, even demonstrating an impressive 96% accuracy during training. So why am I telling you all this dressed as Santa? Because we wanted to explore what it would take to make the big guys naughty or nice list a little more modern. Thankfully, Genesis Engine CEO and co-founder Emma McElnahan was already considering algorithms for such a task. 
Because monitoring all the world's children visually is such a daunting job and, quite frankly, an invasion of privacy, McKillnan suggested a series of points to collect data on good and bad behavior. Social media being an obvious start, offering a window into nice behavior, like hearting your friend's favorite posts, a fire emoji on that new fit, and making it easy to catch cyber bullies deserving of a lump of coal. A small breach into some other online systems could provide insight on community involvement, charitable donations, and feedback from teachers or coaches, all letting Big Red know who's been elvish and who's been impish. Let's call it Santa AI Engine one point ho ho ho. It can gather and analyze the data, file it through algorithms, and sort children accordingly. Now along with freeing up some more time for Santa to figure out how to assemble a PlayStation 5, it could also take away some potential areas for bias, save for when that one kid who egged your house on Halloween tries to make up for it by offering Santa a plate of gourmet cookies. Either way, we'll probably need an elf or two to review the process and maybe a lawyer to see if this is all legal. But just to be safe, the Not Your Nice list is intact for now, but maybe not in the future. Have any news you'd like to share or suggestions for our team? You can send any story tips, questions, or comments to video at photonics.com. Give us a like and click that subscribe button in the corner for all the latest videos from Photonics Media, and be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. Remember, you can always find more details on these stories and everything else happening in our industry by going to photonics.com. And from all of us here at Photonics Spectra, we wish you and your family very happy holidays and a prosperous new year. I'm Joe Kaczynski, and thanks for watching.